Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to have a look at creating a rolling 12 month average and a rolling 12 month total for um, your data. In this example, I've got some data, which is basically gas and electric spend over quite a few months. So if I scroll down this list, you can see it goes on and on and on and on like so. And it is always growing. So I'm always adding new data across the bottom there, as you can see. So on the top, I've got the average spend in column M. So it's just average column M, 68.60. But I don't want the whole average because if I want to um, identify any price increases, which there has been, I want to just have a look at the last 12 months. Now, on a previous video, I've talked about how you can create a graph which shows you a rolling 12 months period with the offset function. So I've already used that example and there is a video on that. But now I want to know what the actual average spend is of the last 12 months, not just the whole column. Now to do that, I've used the average if function. You can see the formulas that I've used there, the average if formula and then sum if if you wanted the total for the last 12 months as well. And then I've used the date uh, function to show me 11 months off the date. So the date function is in there. And that's what I've done. So it's date, year, today. Today's the day's date. So the today function is the computer clock. It's always gonna be the clock. So it's going forward in time. And you can see that for the month as well and the day. And on the month bit, I've got a minus 11. So it's coming back from 11 months for 11 months. So if I just recreate these, you can see how it works. So first of all, I'll do the date function. So I'll do them, I'll just color some cells down here. So I'll do the date function there, so date, and then I'll do the sum function there, sum if, and then I'll do the average if on that one. So let's just change the colors. So we've got different colors for each one. I'll have light blue for that one and a different color altogether green for that one so doing the date one first so remember if i do equals today that is today's date um i don't know why it's picked that font up i'll just change that font style back to what i normally have and put the color back on so that's what the today function does so and that is the moving part of this so if I type the formula equals date, when you do the date function, it's got three arguments, year. So the year, I want, I want to use the year function for the year, and it's gonna be on today. Now today has an open and close bracket. Then I need to close the year bracket, comma, then I'm doing the month function. So I'm doing exactly the same, type in today again with an open and close bracket, and then close the bracket on the month function. Now this is where I'm gonna do a minus 11, and then comma, and now I can do the day function, which is exactly the same today. Open and close bracket, close the today function, close the date function, see what happens there, and we get the same date as up there. Now if I put minus 12, let's see what happens when I do minus 12. So that goes back 12 periods, that's all, and I wanted it 11, but it's up to you. Now the sum if function is something that I use quite a lot of my personal exercise tracker, where I've got it looking back 30 days and uh, 365 days and just summing, summing the, the amount of exercise I've done in the, over that period. So this is the sum if um, function. So let's have a look at this. So we're gonna go equals sum if, open the bracket. So the range is gonna be this list dates. I should have showed you that first off. I'll show you in a second, but basically if I type dates, it's highlighted it now so you can see it. That is a named range. I've just named that dates, comma. So the criteria for this is open quotes, greater than or equals to close quotes. And then I need to use the and, which is a concatenation tool to glue this to the date, which in this case is gonna be this cell P9. And then comma, once it finds that criteria, I want it to add up column M, which I've called total. So I'll just type total. 
and it'll highlight that for you. Then I can close that bracket and click the tick. It comes up with 978. So that's a sum. So 978. Let's go back down to the bottom. Let's go up there. 978. So that's a count of 13. Because it's the greater than and equal. So that's okay. 978. Now the average if is exactly the same except you're just changing the word sum if for average if so i'll just type that out equals average if open the brackets so the range is going to be dates comma the criteria is going to be the same open quotes greater than or equals to close quotes use the concatenation and sign and then click on the date and then comma and then total is the range the name range total tick and i've got a spelling mistake somewhere yep that should be dates not sates tick. and then we get the average of 72 75 i've put that into money let's change that to money and change that to money now, if I change this one to minus 11, so we get the same, same figures as above. I haven't got the sum above, but there you go. I will put the sum above, actually, because it's quite a good uh, figure to know what you're spending on, on the year. You can also use these two functions. This is what I use normally for my exercise spreadsheet. So basically, instead of using the date function you can put today same sort of syntax in the middle there with the greater than and equals to and just put minus 365 for the year or minus 365 for the sum that's the average or one i use is minus 30 for 30 days so it always shows you 30 days back so that is um, the function that i like to use but the the idea is exactly the same so if you're not too fussed about having months you can use this one so it's up to you which one you choose both do the job and um, i like this one a bit tidier don't have to worry about date function so that's all i want to talk about in this video i hope you've enjoyed it and i'll see you on the next one